I feel at certain points in your life, you have to do some works for free. For free. And even when you have gotten to the top, top. not necessarily free, but you are, you are uh, pushed to do something like a discount, okay. give a discount, so yes. you reduce your prices. To and get, get free meal. Yeah. Your time okay. is now. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another interesting episode of the Creative Talk where creatives get the opportunity to share their experience with other creatives. In this video, I'm going to talk to a graphic designer, web designer, photographer and so <laughs> on and so forth. Theo Labi, welcome to the show. Thank you very much and thank you for having me. Sure. All right, so let's start by hearing how you got started into multimedia. Uh, which one do I even start? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think the first one is graphic design, so okay. that is a good place to start. Okay. It's quite a long story. Let me cut it very short. Okay. So, uh, I think it was level 200 when my big brother gave me his laptop okay. to study with it. But mm -hmm. I got fond of Photoshop because it was recommended by a friend okay. who was into cartoon making. Cartoon making. So, I just started editing pictures, making cartoons, uh, okay. and before I realized, I was enjoying the whole Photoshop concept. concept. But my uh, expertise or my favorite part was the photo manipulation aspect. Okay. So that was what I was doing More until <laughs> this whole graphic design whole thing came in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I understand that you are into web design as well and you yeah. shoot a lot as well so how did you get into all that as well okay the web design also big brother yeah uh, he is actually the webmaster for university of mines and technology you might oh, okay so nice he wanted me to study it so that at a certain point i can help him out with his work all right, so i, I did it yeah and photography is that a side hustle or a hobby mm, photograph See, the photography aspect, man. Okay. It just came it by just itself. Came. I understand. You see, currently, I'm also trying to, like, shoot more with my camera. Exactly. But I design more. Okay. Mm. But I'm try I've been watching videos recently on photography, like portraits, all this stuff. So I think once you get into the creative space, sometimes some of these things, yeah. it just push. I remember one time I just sat down and I, I just got into learning Illustrator for no reason. Like I was so really into Illustrator, but then that's something said, I would like to learn. All right, so <laughs> how do you manage to do all of these things at once? I mean, like graphic design, web design. Do you actually do them as like having projects and working on them? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't. The reason I started doing all of these was because I enjoyed doing them. Doing them. Okay. Then a few friends of mine were getting mad at me because I wasn't charging for the designs. <laughs> I wasn't charging for taking pictures. Okay. <laughs> but I just enjoy doing it. So okay. that's what makes me wake up and don't to record a video or anything like that. Okay. That's a passion. That is interesting. So talking about friends getting mad at you for not charging, mm -hmm. what's your take on working for free? Because this is one of mm. the most difficult or one of one of the most i mean like it is debating that when you are starting you should work for free you should not work for free what's your take on that okay uh, i feel at certain points in your life you have to do some works for free for free that one is for sure especially when you're starting out exactly because you need to get your stuff out there you need a very good portfolio okay and no one is going to employ you to take a, a picture of the person or work for them if you don't have any nice Anything things to show. to show so at the initial stage you have to um do something for free okay and even when you have gotten to the top, top. not necessarily free but you are you are uh pushed to do something like a discount okay. give a discount so yes. you reduce your prices to like get a free meal yeah to get okay. more people on board because right. if you don't people are not going to come you are start you started charging very high so not everyone can afford it all right so <laughs> now let's talk about pricing how do you go about pricing your works because i feel like a lot of people when they are starting out like they look out to what is on the market 
say fail charges about 100 cds for a photo shoot so i'm also starting out mm. should i charge 100 cds how do you go about pricing i i would say it all depends on how you rate your skill okay so uh let's take photography for instance you know the camera you are using you know your lenses your lighting sets happen everything related to that you know the amount or the quality of images you can okay. give out okay. so that is what you look on to price if you are like following other people no one is going to really um, come to your brand because there are some people who are using high cameras which are like seven thousand yes and yours is like three thousand and you want to charge you want to about charge this, the this, same this way possible. so yeah. like you use the value based pricing yes. but Absolutely. most people also try the hourly based for instance like when somebody reaches out you'll be like okay this is how long it is going to take me so according to me spending five hours mm -hmm. i'm likely to charge let's say 100 cities okay. if i'm to spend more than five hours that means the pricing is going to go do you recommend such pricing method? yes i recommend i recommend it um depending on what you are doing okay and um, if i am designing something for you i don't typically rate it according to hours, hours. i just charge you upfront and it the can take price. like three days i will be able to deliver it okay. but something like photography if there's a program and you have to shoot for two hours okay. you can charge for, for those two hours okay. Uh -huh. okay. so depending on what you are doing so depending on the program yes, that would depend how to that would depend on how to charge that is interesting so how do you manage to get jobs because mm. here in ghana i will say i've been saying this and i'll continue to say it people think that if you don't go out there nowadays if you don't go out there you are not able to get jobs do you freelance uh no no so how do you manage to get jobs and um, land on clients most of them are recommendations from friends okay most of them most of them yes like i said if you do um about one or two free works for people okay. you ask them to share them around they're able to but you have to make sure that they, they know that this is not for free. So whoever they are telling, they don't say that it's for free. Okay. So when they recommend you to other people and they come on board, then you charge them for those secondary participants. But anything apart from that, eh, I, I haven't really been able to target other people. Okay. To talk to them, tell them about that. I'm an introvert <laughs> most of the time. So most of the creatives is, are. Yeah. That's one thing I've realized that, that most that of is, the creatives. That's a huge Besides, if you are not an introvert and you start like jumping into the creative space, mm -hmm. you start becoming introvert. Yeah. Personally, when I'm out, I'm an extroverted person. But when I'm inside and I'm sort of occupied with the work, I can be behind the machine. Sometimes I'll get even a i'll get to fight with my grandma because she wants me to come out to maybe eat or something but then I, so i've seen that most of the creatives are but why don't you freelance i mean because you are mostly online you you've been posting videos online you have all the social media handles active why don't you try freelancing i should okay but I, I, the maybe bat I, is a bit. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I have to contact. I think the initial stage for me, that is where my problem lies. Okay. Like, I see you do Fiverr a lot. Okay. And I don't know about what happened to your account, <laughs> whether it is restored or not. No. That is something isn't. I wanted to enter. But you see, again, recommendations. recommendations. People have to recommend you so that more people will come on board. Obviously. Now, starting afresh. The whole journey, uh, that is quite what, unclear. Think about it, uh, obviously, obviously. a problem for me. So. Yeah, it is becoming more or less like the Fiverr, the freelance platforms are becoming tough these days. So for instance, when my account got suspended and I had to start over, like it's become so tough. It's as if I've never been on Fiverr before. <laughs> so I understand your point that when you are starting out, but then I always recommend that for Fiverr, for instance, you can get around other creatives who are already on Fiverr. Your son, a big shout outs. He, for instance, when I started my account, just placed an order because mm. like he wanted, wanted me to, to get. Okay. All right. So 
personally like when you are to get started and you reach out i can also place an order or something and then that's, we get started that's, from that's, there. Actually, that's a very good idea yes so let's talk more about photography because okay. i've seen like the big guys in ghana doing photography most of them are not sharing why like sharing, sharing us in the tips tricks strategies mm -hmm. most of them are sharing the business side of photography but the actual tips tricks and strategies most of them are not sharing as in how to use your camera exactly your camera settings yes okay if you and perhaps like that. retouching tutorials most of them yeah i've seen gana I, I do you. like a lot of tutorials on, mm. but not that in the okay um from my point of view okay some people have asked me how i edit my photos exactly yes and you can give them a single a tutorial okay. because every picture is different. different the colors are different so the way you will edit it is different from how you edit a different picture so okay. what i can do is uh, a recent video i posted was about how you can get more details in the white um, clothing clothing okay. so something like this it is specific. specific but if you tell me how i edit this picture i wouldn't be able to tell so i think i don't know about the others but for me that is the problem I'm, i wouldn't say problem that's the challenge, challenge i'm facing. facing so that there's is not, not like a one way go to there isn't a one okay way. but i think that when you do for instance you do uh, your recent video mm -hmm. on how to get more details on a white shirt mm -hmm. the other time or next time you do something different and when the person puts them together he's able so you get he shoot something the person is in white he's able yeah, to right. get a detail get the skin tones so you put all of them together and then you're good to go all right now let me ask this particular question <laughs> what's your take on creativity in ghana wow creativity in in which sense like okay the creative the space yes or... the creative space um i think it's it's aging quite well okay because uh, i see a lot of people doing very amazing things online Freeze. some yeah. that even blew my mind okay uh we used to organize this thing um here jumat uh every semester mm -hmm. just to teach people graphic design and all of that okay and my first ever uh student that i taught how to use photoshop the guy is <laughs> the editing he's doing right now i'm like it, ah, ah are you sure this is your design because they look so nice from what bossy I relax <laughs> relax relax because you know what it's here. so mm -hmm. it's it all depends on how how much passion they have for it he I was understand. always on my neck how to do this how to do that how to do this and now he's doing very very well he's doing very well Excellent. so i see um uh, there's a bright future for ghanian creatives there and, and lots of people are doing amazing things okay but do you think that we need more people on this space yes okay every platform is saturated but we still need more people we still because i feel like just like you're saying more people are not sharing like there are the there are some people there for instance when you go on instagram you see the designs but i don't see why they are not sharing them hmm. like they are not sharing their process thoughts because i i was recently listening to a podcast and um tom heist also i think tom heist on instagram or twitter he said that the more you get to teach what you do the more you get better at it mm -hmm. so i think that the the creative people can still come on board and then so guys we are waiting for you the programmers <laughs> the web developers because you have a lot of them yeah, in this country we do we need you so come on to youtube jump onto the creative space now let's do this thing that i always ask the people on the show i'm in trouble okay so your three favorite books podcast or youtube channels that you recommend to other creatives watching this interesting show. for books i uh, I feel shy to say this on camera, but I don't read books. If you want me to read at anything all. at all, at all, okay, put it in a movie or put it on a website for me to read on. I like reading from screens oh, yeah, rather yes, than flipping. Yes, so books, 
<sighs> so why don't you read like ebooks, PDFs? Mm, it has to be something I'm interested in. So maybe I'll give it a thought some other time. Okay. It doesn't have to also be too long or else it becomes <laughs> boring for me. I hate reading. You just go. I hate reading. So if it's I read a heading, it catches my eye, I read uh, what is about next. it. Okay. Um, so podcasts, I, I don't listen to podcasts. So okay, so, one, so it's also now, since let me let me just do a recommendation. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and read um change your thinking, change your mind. <laughs> That book you can even find it on Play Store. That one will oh, be on okay. screen. And sure. the way they've done the app, like it is very interesting. Chapter mm. after chapter. You can and if you are watching this as well, you can read change your I think maybe after reading that you might change your thinking. Oh, change change your thinking. <laughs> so with that said, if you don't like reading or you're not really interested mm-hmm. in reading a, a podcast YouTube. or a YouTube channel. Podcast also crossed out. <laughs> I prefer um, watching a video rather than okay. listening to it. Then YouTube channel. So YouTube three. channel three. Yes. I think I can give more than three because. But yeah. give your best three. My best three. Because I want to put you into trouble. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to product review. Okay. That one, I'm sure you even agree with me. It's MKBHD. MKBHD. <laughs> Bro, that one is like top notch. Top notch, okay. Uh huh. When it comes to tech, tech knowledge about the whole technology space and all of that, that okay. one would be Linus Tech Linus Tips. Tech. See, the comedy guy. Oh. I call him the comedy. <laughs> he's so unserious, but yeah. he's very knowledgeable. Yes. Okay. Then, uh, when it comes to uh, using software, software and how to manipulate things, okay. I think I'll go with Avnish Parker. Avnish Parker. I'm sure you've heard of him. Okay, how um, how much of um, After Effects do you do? No, no. I'm okay, not that's, that's why. I that's why okay. He's he's very good. I've <laughs> never seen his face. I've never heard his voice, but he has he has over five hundred thousand subscribers. I see. So so you don't even need to show your face on the camera before nope. you start. So the net out there, you see, one problem about the net is that they like they are afraid of sharing. I don't know why they are afraid of camera or something. But the net out there, you don't really have to show your face. You can just jump onto YouTube, be behind the screen and gain over 500,000. Like right. what he always does. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap it up. Your final words to any creative out there watching us, whether a graphic, web, um, programmer, all these people, they are creatives. Your final words to them. Your time is okay. now. Your time is now. Don't wait for anything. Don't be like, I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start next week. I'm okay. going to start at any time. Okay. Now is the best time to start. Whatever you have at this very moment, as long as you can use it to record videos, to record audios, or do anything related to that, I think you will be fine. And as you all know, the moment you start something, the more you do it, the more you're able to progress in it. Yes. Rather than procrastinating and you'll be like, I'm waiting to buy this and buy that and buy that before you realize you are still stuck at one. Great. So that means that practice makes progress. Exactly. When you start, then you get progressed. Thank you so much for coming on to this one. Thank you for coming. Guys, don't forget to check out the Lobby. He does some amazing videos mm. and you love to check him out. Links will be in the description and don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to his channel as well. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you in the next creative talk. Peace. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, done. One to two and pass again.